Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to add more detail and how to provide a good shape of your any image. So let's begin our tutorial. This is our image and we are going to change or add little bit details and we are going to provide a good shape of this face such like we make little bit changes on eyes little bit changes on sharpness and little bit changes of detailing on this image so how it is possible let's do this first of all we are going to provide perfect shape of this image so we are taking crop tool and adjust the size of image or you can also say that we are going to place this image in perfect area now it was completely straight and look good now the second step is we are going to change or we are add more detail on her eyes so how could we do this first of all we are duplicate the image and go to curves then increase the curve first you can zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus or command plus then just increase the curve little bit more increase your curve line you can curve the line as high end now it's look good you can see that the complete image is going so bright and it's completely full of white light now we are pressing ctrl plus i it's inverse the mask layer and going to brush make hardness we are going to take soft brush and make hardness 20 to 24 percent now make sure that your foreground color is black then then start your work always remember that your foreground color is now make your foreground color white opacity 100% and do your work draw the line same as tutorial don't do any other line such like horizontal and, and any other types of line just do the same as like a tutorial Do the same thing to another eye. I make this clip a little faster. Now take new layer, take brush and take black color and just apply. I think this one is hardness so 20%, make hardness 0% and then again apply this brush. Resize the brush color and place in middle of eye.
duplicate the brush point and again place this one in another eye resize the image or brush dot just press ok now your work the first step is almost done you can also apply little bit mask layer on brush area or black spot area to provide originality of your image now we can see that the eye is look so glossy and it completely is complete full of details Now we are going to mask the layer by pressing shift control plus alt plus e then we are going to duplicate the layer and now we are going to liquify to adjust the eye area and we are going to provide little bit shape of face now you can see that the left one is little bit smaller than right one so we are going to change the size of left one and we are going to also change little bit right one This one is completely depend on face and this one is also this adjustment is totally depend on you how much you want to make changes on eye face and other area of this picture Now we are going to adjust the face white or face cheek Okay Okay. Okay. Now last we are going to add face white. It's look great. It's completely changed. So when you think your work has been done then just press okay and out of liquify this one make the change of mouth then press okay now you can see it was really looks great and it has great changes and the third one make again duplicate layer and the third one is add little bit sharpness of your image then go to directly on sharpness first of all we are going to click uh, filter camera raw and select sharpness now you can zoom your image by pressing control plus or you can press or you can zoom by clicking on plus symbol now increase your sharpness also increase the radius add little bit detail
now we are going to change little bit color this one is very important part of your adjustment it shows the detail and it increases the work it increases the color of your detailing or sharpness it's pro you can it's provide great look of your normal image now it's almost done the fourth the fourth step is this one is also a great option and it's help you to increase more detailing of your image so first of all we are going to filter and then we are click on other and choose SLR HSL option now we are going to blending mode and choose the mode of this and we are going to choose the mode of this layer adjust the opacity and flow line now your work is almost done now we are going to apply little bit dodge and burn tool so take a new layer go to fill and go to edit and fill and take 50% gray blending mode and choose overlay then go to dodge tool adjust 10% exposure and apply burn tool directly on your face burn tools is burn tool is a great tool it helps you to increase the darker area and it also helps you to increase the lighter area it provides professional look of your image and this one is the important this one is very important tool to for your retouch and add extra detailing of your image so your work is almost done or you can also add little bit contrast or you can add more detailing by using contrast and brightness and you can also add little bit saturation or adding extra clarity of your image you can add little bit clarity you can also increase the um, contrast of your image or you can increase the saturation and you can also decrease the saturation or any specific color of your image
friend the work is done hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay thank you and okay thank you and goodbye